here, a suffering is here. Life is skittles and life is beer. I think the loveliest time of the year is the spring. I do, don't you? Of course you do. Well, here we have something uh, interesting. It's uh, one of the first albums that uh, uh, that weren't really issued by a record company, but by a private person. And, and we're talking about the first album by the singer and pianist and parodist and comedian and maths teacher Tom Lehrer uh, from 1953. Uh, it's a quite worn copy and with some somebody who has been writing Alan here on the sleeve. I think I've shown this record before in my channel. Quite sure I have it. Uh, but anyway, until I find a better copy, it stays with me. The first time I heard the name Tom Lehrer or any of his songs was in the late 1980s. And then it was the Swedish interpretations of his songs made by the actor and comedian Lars Ekborg to the piano accompaniment of jazz pianist Leif Asp. Those recordings made uh, they were made in 1967 and became very popular, but alas, Lars Ekborg passed away before any more Tom Lehrer um, interpretations would be recorded. Some years later, I managed to get hold of Tom Lehrer's last of not very many albums. That was the week that was. Uh, and I was amazed by the lyrics, so incredibly funny, but also very risky. Like the Vatican rag, for instance. When I later started to look for information about Tom Lehrer, I was, I was very surprised to find out that he was actually a maths teacher and it, that he was one of the first artists who issued records uh, without the support of any record company. And as I said, this was as early as the early 1950s. I've been able to get hold of his original albums, and like many other fans, I'm a bit sad that he didn't continue writing songs and recording them. But uh, he, apart from writing songs um, for a children's television show in the 70s, he spent his, uh, the rest of his active career teaching maths. My favorite album is the live version of his second album, An Evening Wasted with Tom Lehrer. This one. Mm. Um, uh, and uh, the audience reaction when Tom Lehrer sings the title of the first track, Poisoning Pigeons in the Park, is hysterical. They never heard anything like it before. And you can hear it. Yep. 